The last century has brought significant changes to many Middle Eastern countries. The success of a country is based on many factors. One country in particular has found remarkable success. Even though it did not exist before 100 years ago, Saudi Arabia is comparable to other successful countries around the world. Saudi Arabia, the largest country in the Middle East, is the fifth largest country in Asia, with a population around 31.7 million. Saudi Arabia is approximately 830,000 square miles, which is similar to the state of Alaska. The Kingdom of Saudi Arabia was founded in 1932 by King Abdul Aziz. He united the four regions into a single state through a series of conquests beginning in 1902. Saudi Arabia has since been an absolute monarchy, and the kingdom has thrived. The wise king realized that the development of a country depends on the development of its people. He believed that education and healthcare were the two main foundations of a strong nation. For this reason, he established that both education and healthcare are right for everyone. The king and his successors have invested tremendous resources to ensure that the needs of Saudi Arabian citizens are met. A large majority of the kingdom's budget has been spent on both education and healthcare. In fact, in 2017 alone, over 53 billion has been spent on educating Saudi Arabian citizens and another 32 billion has been used to support their health and well-being, which is nearly 40% of its overall budget. In 1923, King Abdul Aziz established the Directorate of Knowledge when there were only four schools at the time, and the majority had community education, which involved teachings at mosques and neighborhood tutors several times a week. In 1952, the number of schools reached 309. In 1953, the Ministry of Education was established, which continued to provide free public education to anyone from elementary age through college, as well as free transportation. The efforts of the Ministry of Education were not limited to general education, but were also concerned with the establishment of technical education schools, industrial, agricultural, and commercial, literacy, adult education, and education for people with special needs. The number of educational institutions dramatically increased with time. In 2015, there were more than 26,935 schools, the gross enrollment for boys was 99.9%, and the gross enrollment for girls was 96.3% and the total gross enrollment was 98.1%. There are around 42 large universities and 20 colleges which have all the specialties, such as medicine, art, and social sciences. Even though the education is free, each graduated student in the university receives monthly allowance around $300. The education in Saudi Arabia consists of same-sex education classes from elementary school to college. 60% of university students in Saudi Arabia are Saudi females, and there are thousands of female professors. Princess Noura bint Abdul Rahman University is the first women's university in Saudi Arabia, and the largest women-only university in the world. It has over 60,000 students in 34 colleges. According to the World Health Organization, the Saudi healthcare system is ranked 26th among 190 of the world's health systems. The Saudi Arabian system leads many other international healthcare systems, such as Canada, which is ranked 30th, Australia, which is 32, the United States, which is 37th, and New Zealand, which is 41st. Health services in Saudi Arabia continue to significantly increase in number as well as provide improved services. The first public health department was established in Mecca in 1925. Once established, the new public health department provided free health care. However, the majority of people continued to depend on traditional medicines. In 1950, the next crucial health care advance was established by the Ministry of Health. Since then, substantial improvements in health care have been achieved. The MOH is responsible for managing, planning, and developing health policies while also supervising health programs. In addition, the MOH also monitors health services in private hospitals. Currently, the MOH is the major government provider and financer of healthcare services, with a total of 282 hospitals and 2,361 primary health care centers. Not only does Saudi Arabia provide good and free services for its citizens, it also provides those services for its guests from other countries who come to go on a pilgrimage. Every year in the fall, about 2 million pilgrims visit the great country from all over the world, and they receive free health services. The generosity and mercy of the kings of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia exceed the border. In 1990, the first separation of conjoined twins was done successfully, which is the most expensive and difficult procedure to perform, and can take up to 24 hours. However, after many successful operations, Saudi kings invited any conjoined twins around the world to have free treatment, fully sponsored including first class plane tickets and free accommodations. Since then, 42 separations of conjoined twins from 19 countries have been done successfully in Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia, once a large desert, has been transformed into a network of modern cities.